Now it's time for some audio. I'd like you to meet the EAW KF200 NT sitting on top of two NTS250 subwoofers. These are all active, which means there is an amplifier in the back. This little box here is actually three-way, loaded with a 10-inch woofer and a coaxial arrangement for the mid and highs. Price is $5,575. The subs are each loaded with a pair of 15-inch speakers in a push-pull arrangement. They are rated at 2,000 watts. Price is just under eight grand, and remember street prices are less. EAW comes from Production Audio Services in Australia and New Zealand. What do we think, Jimmy? I think it's great. I love it. Um, I'm actually going to take this one and put it in my car where the other one is already waiting after the show and take them home. Um, the, the active DSP processing in this is really nice. The amplification is beautiful. Uh, there is no noise floor worth worrying about. Like when I was testing it, um, we tested off a little rack mixer and it, it's really nice and quiet when it's not doing anything. And then when you want it to do something, it's like this big scary monster, but it sounds nice. One or two of those with one or two subs, that's your system. I wouldn't be freaked out if I didn't have an EQ for this PA. The, the directionality and the actual, the general beam control on it's really nice. Especially, it sounds right out of the box. Yeah, the, the subs are particularly potent. Um, you can cardioid these, which means in that arrangement with, with two subs, you can virtually cancel any sub coming out the rear end, which is very important. I think the work towards directionality in woofers and subwoofers is really important for the, for the workplace. You don't want to spend all day at a, at a festival, say, being wiped out by huge amounts of sub that goes in all directions. I really like the rigging on the subs. It's super simple. You just pull a pin out, it drops the bracket down into the next sub, and then you push it back into the next sub. Um, it's a really good system. What I'm not so keen on is the handles for lifting the subs, which appear to be facing in the wrong orientation there running top to bottom rather than left to right, which makes it hard to pick up. I think flag. the point you mentioned about when there's nothing coming at them that are really quiet is very important. Um, it's great when speakers don't have noise coming at them that they're quiet. Mm. So guys, overall, I like it. Yeah. Mm. I like the colour. Cool. And modern manufacturing to a, an old age problem of building large speaker boxes. Yeah. Oh, so it's a winner.